The other day I did this look and when I was on Snapchat, a lot of you guys were asking me to make a tutorial. So I decided to give the Snapchatters what they wanted. If you don't follow me on Snapchat, that's okay. This is like a, a cut crease type of deal, gold eyes, big fat lashes, pretty lips. I would say this is pretty Christmassy, huh? Mm-hmm. Very made up, it's a very made up look. Thank you so much for watching and let's get to the tutorial. I'm taking my Blur Pang Peach Milk Blur SPF 30 PA Plus Plus product. I'm gonna use this as a face primer. I'm going to apply it with a brush. I feel like I like it better applied as with a brush versus my fingers. My Fiona Style Luminous Finish Foundation Concentrate. And I use the shade four. I always get asked and I forget. It's number four. I'm gonna apply this with my flat foundation brush. This exact foundation brush, I've had a few people ask me about it as well. It was carried by Sephora. They no longer carry it with the pink handle, but you can still get like their flat foundation brush. It's the same bristles. They have to be about six years, no, five years old. If you're looking to invest in some good brushes, I would definitely suggest Sephora brand. They are amazing quality and I mean, this is proof they last forever. You just have to take care of them, wash them, love them like your children. I then like to take my beauty blender and just go over the areas where you could still see brush marks. Do you ever think back like what was I doing before the beauty blender? How was I blending? For concealer, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape. This is in the color light. It's on its last limb. I need to get a new one. I am scraping. I can honestly say coming from a concealer whore, this concealer is so good. There's nothing like it. I can't explain it, but there really is nothing like it. You, ha you have to get it, you have to try it. Let me see if I can get this stopper thing off of it. Let's see, let's see. Then I can really scrape, oh shit. Okay, it's not it's not coming off. We move on. But I am using this spatula I got at um, Namie's and I'm just scooping out the product. There's a lot in there. That damn wand isn't picking up. Let's go back to what we were doing. I'm placing this under my eyes pretty heavily because mama didn't go to bed till five in the morning last night. I just haven't, I have not been able to sleep. Stressed, I got too much on my mind. I can't turn off my brain and go to bed. I do it pretty thick anyways. Okay, under the eyes, chin, around the mouth. I like to do, I'm gonna do smile lines because this foundation is dark so I wanna make it look lighter. I'm gonna do under my cheekbones, down the center of my nose, middle of my forehead. Actually, you know what I've been liking to do lately? I take the MAC uh, Prep and Prime and I'll spray my face before I blend. It makes the concealer a little bit more creamier. Not that it's not creamy. Also, it will like stay put better, I feel like. I don't know. I just been like, I like doing it lately. You mad? You know, I try to be so careful and not get makeup in my hair and it never works out. I always get it in my hair. I'm gonna invent a product that will get makeup out of light hair, I swear. Anywho, I pretty much, you know, highlighted my whole face. That was really stupid. Now I'm going to add some bronze back into my face. It's funny how I went from dark to light. Now I'm going back to dark. <laughs> I'm going to be using the Chanel uh, Soleil Tan de Chanel Bronzing Makeup Base. I've used this a few times in my tutorials. I don't like to use it too often because it is pretty pricey. So I feel like it's like that product that I have where I only want to use it for special occasions because pricey. It's so good. It looks so natural. It looks like your skin. If you swatch it in the store, like at the Macy's counter, or wherever you're at, you're probably not going to like it. But when you put it on your face, it's completely different. It's just like, it looks so natural. I'm going to use my Delium Tools 953 brush. Every day is a special occasion. Hollow of my cheek coming along my hairline all the way across. So I was thinking about making a tutorial on understanding your face shapes and why you place contour shades where you place them. Do you think that would be a good video? Would anyone watch that or no? Like understanding your bone structure. Cause I, I feel like people contour incorrectly. They just do it based off of what they've seen online, but they don't really know 
or understand like why they're putting it in the places they are. So if you think that's a good idea, let me know. The foundation is sticking funny to my mustache. Okay, I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. I'm just gonna take a regular old sponge and I'm just going to set my under eye. I'm setting my under eye, my chin, around my mouth, underneath my cheekbone. And then I always wait to do my forehead until after my eyebrows. Oh my Jesus. Oh no. For my brows, I wanna use today, the Benefit Browsings number two. I was like all about this product for a while and then I stopped and now I'm back on it. This one is a gel, a tinted gel. And then this one is um, the actual powder. I like this gel one because I can get like these holes and it sticks to the skin a lot better and it fills it in. Just going to fill in and shape my eyebrows. It's funny how my camera always starts to overheat at my eyebrows. Okay, I'm just, my camera's overheating. So I'm just gonna fill in my brows with this gel and then go over the gel with the powder, okay? I'll see you when I'm done because I gotta turn the camera off or it's gonna delete everything. Okay, eyebrows on, camera's not overheating. Now I'm going to go back with my little sponge and just set my forehead. So in between my brows and then on my forehead. I'm gonna leave my under eye powder on because when I do my eyeshadow right now, it will catch any of the fallout that falls. For eyeshadow primer, I'm using the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer. Uh, you can use this as an eyeshadow primer, super waterproof, and you can use it as a concealer as well. The number on it is number four. The reason I don't like to use it for like my under eyes, let's say, it's super full, but it also has more of a matte finish to it. So it's great on the face to spot conceal, but under my eyes, because I am more on the drier side, it just shows texture and it makes my under eyes look dry. I'm taking a concealer brush and I'm just putting this concealer all over my lid. It's nice because the concealer will neutralize any type of darkness you have on the lid. You only wanna use a little bit of the concealer because it can crease on you if you use too much. I love this eyeshadow palette, but I realized the other day, I was like, I don't even use it that much. So I busted it out. It's the Lorac uh, Me Pro, Mega, wait, Mega Pro 3? Pro Mega 3. Then take my Ray Morris Medium Oval Shadow Brush, or a blending brush, a crease brush will, will work as well. Tan, which is a light beige. I'd say rosier beige. And I put this right across my crease. When I do my eyes, I always like to just leave my eyes open because then I know exactly where the color is going. I'm also going to wing it out because I'm gonna create an elongated eye. I'm going to now use a very small defining brush. Look how small that is. This one's by Emma Bell. I'm now going to use the shade Maple, which is a warm brown, and I like to mix bark just to make it a little bit deeper. So going right along my crease, little strokes, and then winging it out. So think about doing like an outer V on the eye. That's just what I'm doing right there. I'm gonna do the same on the other eye. Going to be taking a really small crease brush. I love this one by MAC. It's the 221 brush, it's super small. I'm gonna grab Pecan. It's a little bit deeper than that crease color we used. Right on the edge of that last shade, just softly going over blending. I'm going back with my concealer brush and I still have, this is my little makeup palette. I still have a little bit of the concealer right here that I used as my eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna take this and just clean up right on the lid because I want a sharper, a sharper edge. So right in here. I'm gonna do the same on the other eye. I want a light wash of gold on my eyelid. 
Surprisingly, this Lorac palette doesn't really have one. So I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay eyeshadow in vanilla and blunt. I like if I layer the two, it makes like this perfect gold shade. So I like to do vanilla first and then blunt on top of it. Flat eyeshadow brush by Urban Decay. I'm going to spray my brush with MAC Fix Plus. This will intensify the pigment of the eyeshadow. Taking vanilla first. I'm just pressing this all over the lid. I press so it sticks to that primer and I get a better color payoff. Same thing, I'm gonna spray my brush and then I'm taking blunt and I'm just patting this all over the lid as well. I like the combination of these two together. It's so pretty, oh so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna dust off my, uh, the uh, powder. I'm gonna spray my face with the Pixi Glow Mist Setting Spray. This will, you see how it's giving like a white hue? This will melt the powder into the skin. So it doesn't look so powdery. I went too heavy, sorry. Going back with my Lorac palette and let's do like that small crease brush I was using. And the shade Maple that and Bark, the darkest shade. I'm gonna come right on my lower lash line. I'm also going to connect it with the wing part. I'm taking that flat all over shadow brush and the color Vanilla by Urban Decay. And I'm going to come right on my inner tear duct and then connecting it with that darker shade. So about halfway over. And now I'm taking Blunt and layering it over Vanilla. I put mascara on top and bottom lashes. I figured I would just finish the eyes while I'm here. I'm gonna put on um, a set of lashes. Now these lashes, I actually, I made them. So I just took a regular old um, strip of lashes and then I glued on individual lashes just on the outer part to give a winged cat eye effect. I thought my phone was on silent. I like making my own lashes because then you're getting what you want, you know? I'm going to add, um, I'm going to define my contour a little bit more. So I'm taking my Fiona Styles Sheer Sculpting Palette in light medium. You know what? I got this one off of Amazon, which if you watched my Amazon haul video, I talked about it. Just going to come into my contour. With my angled blush brush and the Urban Decay blush in TMI on my cheekbone. Then taking my favorite product of all time, the Hourglass Ambient Light Powder, and this one is an incandescent, this middle one. Taking a MAC 133 brush, just going to sweep it on my cheekbones. I also like to bring it on the middle of my forehead, down the, my nose, tip of my nose. This will give you a really pretty glow. It's pretty, I like this look a lot. So I wanna do a dramatic lip. Of course you could always do a natural lip if you're not into the drama. I'm using the MAC Lip Liner in Night Moth. Once I've lined my lips, I'm gonna be using these two Black Moon Cosmetics liquid lipsticks. The first one I'm gonna use is Immortal. I use these two in my fall tutorial and I love, I loved how it came out, so. I use both of these. Now, once that dries, I'm going to layer the second color, which is Armageddon, just right over the top of it. And there you go, a really made up look. <laughs> It's very, it's very made up. That you could do for your holidays, going out, having a drink, staying at home, whatever you want. I hope you like this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If I don't see you before the holidays come, then I hope you have a really great holiday. If you don't celebrate anything, then I hope you have a really great week ahead. Make good choices. I'll see you guys later. Bye.